I did a little more welding, added a piece to the back. You can see them getting better. Um, couldn't really reach back there, but it was getting back there. So now I'm gonna bust down all this, break down all that crap. I also added a little bead here, you know, god dang it, a little bead here and a little bead there. A little dab there, left that side alone. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use the old angle grinder with some varying bits and get that all busted down. Uh, make it look nice and pretty. Let's do it. Well, looks better. Still looks god awful, but you know, once I get some painter and primer on there, definitely looks better. But still awful. <laughs> Should put some primer on there. Uh, this one I barely did anything to. Just knocked it down a little bit. Knocked down this hard edge on this. So it's not so sharp, but other than that, finished off quite a bit of bondo over here in this corner. I got all this. Nice and good. Um, up here, down here. I have not done this or over here yet. Did a little bit up here, but not much. And as I got that left, just a little bit of bondo left. And I'll be ready to uh, wash this thing down pretty good and get it painted. Pretty sure I'm gonna need to take all this stuff off down here first. The uh, fog lights and the cop horn. Not sure how I'm gonna do that or where I'm gonna put those afterwards, but. We'll see. So, taking a break from all of the sanding and stuff, I decided to separate out some wires. This is all the stuff that goes to the back. Um, this is all the OEM stuff. And then going over this way, up into over here. Basically what I'm trying to get at is I got a bunch of wires I clipped on this side, and a bunch of wires I clipped on this side. I'm gonna go through and see which ones I can just delete out. See which ones are still connected. Subaru. Alright, so these guys were all clipped from this end. And then I have corresponding some here and some random ones. But as far as just floaters, I only managed to get rid of about five or six of these fucking wires. They were just um, completely obsolete. There's a couple here and there. Um, managed to, this was the seat belt beeper. Managed to, uh, that's part of these now. As, uh, as soon as I get the rest of this harness, figure out where all these go into there. I'll just be depinning them and pulling them as I go. Um, getting down to, got a little bit of the um, underhood fuse box stuff here. Over here, I've kind of got it all plotted out. It looks crazier than it is, really, but um, this is all body stuff, and then there is some more engine stuff worked in here. So I gotta figure out what all that needs to stay and what needs to go. Whew, daunting. I mean, I still need to vacuum in here. I'm gonna try and figure out some of this wiring. Um, trying not to pull too much out of it out of the car as they tend to lose track of things once they leave the car. So for now, this is where I'm at. All right, so I'm gonna try and keep the little LED bulb bar out of there, which I'm doing terrible at. Um, so getting into this guy over here, I noticed that this whole side is clipped and this whole side is clipped. Uh, with the exception of the one ground here, which I can just clip that and then everything is done. And everything is done. But this clips in and goes down the fuel rail all the way back. I don't know what the hell I'm using back there. 
that would require these specific wires. I mean, I have my uh, manual here and I'm pulling it up. I'm looking through the connectors and stuff, but it's really not helping that much. Um, not giving me a lot to go by. Uh, just basically so you know some of the stuff tells me what it is but a lot of the stuff doesn't I'll just say to harness it's like it is a harness you know so sedan uh, that is not what I'm looking for yeah I don't know I just gotta keep going and figure out what this this stuff is for because um, maybe some of it that's the old seat belt connector some of it has to be for some of this shit. I know my power mirrors don't work. Everything else on this side works. The power locks, the mirrors, the blinkers, um, the light, everything works. And this is a lot of wires to have everything work. You know? All right, well, I just gotta figure it out, I guess. <laughs> the only thing that doesn't work is the power mirror. Yep. All right, where are we? here we are. So I traced these back and they shot off, half of them shoot over here and half of them shoot over here, as you can see. Um, these ones, which is funny to me now because of all these wires here um, that are clipped, I still went when I drilled these holes right here through these I drilled it right through the wire um, wiped through my wire pack and killed all the wires so I had to clip them and rewire them um, which is funny because now looking at this I'm realizing I only need to rewire these <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have to rewire all of those uh, so that's alright um, finding out more shit seeing out where stuff's going um, I have a feeling a lot of it has to do with the power steer or the power seat belts, which have been long gone. Um, which also reminds me that I need to either weld this in or find a bolt or something. Something. I gotta do something back here because these seat belts are literally just that little bolt right there is the only thing holding them in right there. Uh, down there I got the big boy bolt, but all right. Oh my back is killing me. All right, I'm starting to see a pattern here. So these come from there. Um, these reds, uh, ground, all these blues are here. I'll go into here. Yeah, it's getting a little, a little crazy. Um, Cause this splits off and the yellows go up into the thing. Some of the reds go there. Most of the blues and whites right here, I was tracing them back, go to, these blue and whites go to this. This is your uh, seatbelt warning thing. Same as this guy right there. So all of that is gone. I think all of this blue wires are gone. This white one's gone. I think that leaves me with these guys. I just float over there, plus the grounds. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go over here, unplug that guy in the corner, and start pulling these wires, the clipped ones at least, and see where they they go to. I'm very curious, it's gotta be the seat belts, the power for the power seat belt. As you can see, this has a big gap in it where the seat belt goes, and stops right there. Um, that's gone, I got rid of that. Actually, <laughs> funny enough, it's literally sitting right there. Sold the other one, didn't sell this one, but yeah, so I gotta get in there and deal with that shite. But at least I got some good tunes and it's nice music, so, or nice weather. All right, so pulled all that crap, all that crap. You can see what I'm down to here. Uh, that is just the power for the uh, rear door, I reckon. Um, it matches this power for this rear door. Um, and then going further back here is a shitload of grounds. And I'm gonna twist all together, lump on there, and throw a big bunch of vacuum tight stuff. Um, this guy is my dome light. 
going up dome light and power window power door lock um, same thing going on, on the other side and this is just the connector for it so all this stays and my e-brake light stays um, I got I deleted the uh, the door trigger on this side and that side um, those two went right into this thing here into this guy which had one going to the back and three on here I had one going front and then three two of which went to this end and that one over there I don't know where the third one goes probably the trunk I'm assuming um, but yeah a lot of grounds go all the way back and then connect to the roof up there I'm not sure if I'm going to take them out or not I'll probably just lump them together solder them solder them together and then cap them off with a bunch of vacuum stuff um, other than that um, yeah I just kind of worked my way back over here I got my alarm wire figured out where that is by alarm I mean unlock and lock my door that's all that thing does um, so yeah so this stuff's staying I now know what's staying in the cabin as far as here I gotta pull some uh, speaker cable from over there some random wires that I just grandfathered in via new zip ties and new wires and stuff so yeah it's coming along pretty good but uh, like I said before my back is killing me Fucking between the siren and the muse and the wires I feel like I'm turning into a Borg and I finally had to just go ahead and clean it <laughs> It was just so messy in here, so I vacuumed it up. Um, but until my vacuum died, that's why it's a little messy over there. Because I knew you were just wondering about that. But yeah, so you can see I got the uh, wire stretched across there. That's good for that. I got the um, alarm pulled out of the back and um, all the wiring accoutrements, including that big one that came down this way. So it's a lot cleaner in here, way cleaner in here. Um, just put this up there Still not sure what of this I'm gonna be able to keep what I'm gonna need to get rid of as far as the old harness um, tie-in um, basically for right now I'm um, just kind of keeping it as is and see what I need from there but uh, I'm kind of gonna tackle that I kind of wanted to just clean it up get it kind of where it is right now and start Futzing around with all the particulars, uh, redoing speaker cable, etc., um, and then deal with the harness, the actual harness part of it. But I was going through and I'm trying to find all of these. Um, I narrowed them down to individual, you know, plugins and whatnot. I'm trying to figure out where they go. Like this guy, I thought that was part of the ignition, which it is. But then it has this wire that I clipped months ago. I have no idea where that goes. Somewhere over there. Um, possibly to power lock all the doors once the car starts or something. I have no idea, really. I need better wiring stuff. All I have is the uh, 89, 88 sedan. Technically, it's just the 89 factory manual and then the 95 factory manual. But the uh, 88, 80, 89, 90, 91 sedan should all be pretty much the same slight variances and whatnot but all in all I'm really happy with the progress I made today I'm just waiting around for this package which funny enough it didn't show up until about 2 15 but it was my uh... I'm obviously not afraid of copyright strikes it is my um, heater core gasket so right there so booyah that's in um, this thing I think I've got a plan for I'm not sure if I put that on film yet or not but I got a piece of metal in a metal plate in it's bigger than that that'll fit over it but it looks kind of weird so I'm gonna have to trim it down trim this thickness down make it more flush so that way it'll sit flush over the whole thing it might look a little goofy but it'll be all right um, yeah, I put that in the box, put it away. It's definitely going to look better than the plan I had with this. Me and the guy at the hardware store came up with, which was custom cutting out 
and then using like a butterfly bolt on the back or something to hold it in. Might still do that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, shit, I forgot. I was just up out in the yard cleaning, spraying off my uh, inner fender wells, and I forgot to bring those up and spray them off. I'm sure I'll find other shit that needs to be sprayed off and whatnot, but for right now, I think I'm good. I got tons of weight reduction over here. I got to go through this and pull the plugs I want to keep. I think I might use this plug for the intermediate of this guy so in the future I don't have to clip the wires I can just um, power it I think it'll be a lot cleaner if I use <clears throat> use this guy I might even use both of them since they got a nice bracket and then uh, put a little pin hole in the thing because that just slides onto a pin it's welded in so I will be reusing this most likely with my switch my console switch yeah but for right now um, I'm just going to kind of keep putzing around wire by wire and see how far into the day I can get. Because it's already like 3 o'clock and i am got about this much of my barks left. And then I'm out of caffeine. Ah, it's got a bite. Alright, so we're under this side. Got all my stuff. Got the uh, cop horn wiring set aside along with the fog light these guys wiring and then set those aside um, this is the relay for the fog and then the power and shit goes in there but all this stuff is the uh, OEM lighting wiring it goes to headlights, parking lights, etc a couple split offs for like the parking light and stuff so what I'm going to do is get these guys um, wrapped up separately and probably just stick them back on there for a little bit, just zip time or whatever, until I figure out exactly how I want to run them and then start doing Because you can see all the varying lengths and stuff of wire. Obviously that's not all needed. That was a uh, half-assed tuck job. So while I'm in here and doing all this stuff, I'm just going to go back and redo the shit I should have done correctly in the first place but that was a nightmare because of all this stuff all the wiring and etc that was down here but since I think I have to remove this to do the radiator anyways we'll see I still haven't decided depending on how hard it is going to be to get power steering in this bad boy um, I might either have to put a new intercooler or cooler on there somewhere else um, but for right now it's going to live right there I don't care this guy is off of here, I just don't have the wires cut to it yet, so. Uh, yep, more engine shaving and whatnot. As far as what it looks like inside. Um, I just kind of blew up this whole corner over here. It looks crazy, but it's really not. It's just a bunch of um, the ECU plugs and the main relay and then all the injector shit is pretty much all gone that's all gone pretty much that's all gone pretty much basically what it's getting down to is uh, this stuff right here that's it just this right there that's all gone and these wires right here and some different lines coming back to this thing all this wire here is all stuff I managed to pull out so far like I said, I gotta go through and find some rubber grommets and whatnot that's in there that I want to keep, but uh, headache is in full effect right now, so I think I'm going to call it quits. Maybe get something to eat or something. So for right now, this is this, and uh, I guess we'll pick up where we left off. I still haven't decided if I'm just going to cut all these or actually try and figure out where they go. It'd be easier just to do a quick solder across to the power window and stuff, which I know is in there. I found some wires. There's some uh, cut ones on that side too that I gotta figure out, so. Getting around to it slowly but surely. But for today, I think I am done. I'm in a good resting spot. Everything's exposed. I know where I'm at. Not starting anything new, not finishing anything. So, yeah, it's a good. Good spot to stop for the day. Alright, so 
It's been a few days. I've been working a few days. It was slow, so I took the day off. Um, figured I'd come down and do some stuff. I've ended up doing quite a bit of stuff. Uh, I started out basically um, doing some more sanding. Got this part up here down. It's not quite very blown off. But I did end up going back and putting some more on, like right here. Be right there. Um, this hole over here. Filled that up. Um, thought about filling these up, changed my mind. Here's a couple little spots here. Um, nothing major. Um, just a couple little holes. But uh, as I was getting ready for, because I'm kind of been working on the inside, and I kind of wanted to do some sanding some before I got into that today. But as I was going around, I was getting ready and filling up bolt holes and stuff, and I thought now would be a good time to go and drag out all the nut rivets and <clears throat> get all my hardwares together and see what fits where and drill out the holes to the appropriate um, so that my nut cert can get in there. So that my nut cert can get in there and I can squeeze it and it'll be there forever. But yep, yeah, uh, so the last thing I had to uh, figure out where the holes were were for this guy down here. It's just hanging, just literally sitting in there. Um, I'm not kind of squish. I'm gonna wait until after paint and all that before I squish those uh, permanently throughout the car. But uh, for right now, that's where that's gonna live. That is my new fuel filter location. That'll come directly to here, which is where the fuel comes out. Um, or maybe here will be where the fuel comes out. Yeah, I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. But anyways, I want to get that done before I go inside the car and start putzing around with the uh, center console. I have to get this cut down first and foremost and then um, probably shave these down. End up using the front ones, put nut certs in back for the back ones. Got to knock down this little hump right there. Hump to hump. Which I'm not sure what that's for. Probably just some kind of weird structural thing, but... Yeah, I still got to take these power guys off. Um, wiring is getting a lot better. I spent a few hours in here the other day. Didn't really film too much, but... What I got to boil down to is I need like... Six wires off of this thing. And then the rest of that can go... That's all goodbye. It's just a few wires. Um, fuel pump relay. Um, basically everything heading to the main relay here. Just got a few wires that go into my A1 plug and then the rest of them are all just injector shit. So I just gotta figure out. These guys on the body harness, and the rest gets clipped. And then I can start putting shit back together and figuring out what I need uh, to keep and what I need to go. Yep, so, but that's coming up well after this. It is a weekday. I like to do the really loud, stinky stuff while my neighbor's not here. Um, that way I'm not bugging her. Um, she's an extremely patient person. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to zip this guy off. Um, probably grind these guys down. Uh, maybe not, depending. See how flush it is. I don't know if those are going to stick up. Stupid LED camera. Uh, that black bar is because of the camera and the LED. You see how they stick up right there? These guys might need to grind those down to keep it nice and flush, probably. And then, uh, I guess maybe I'll pop them out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yep, grind that down. Push that thing down. Get this black bar out of the way. So, yeah. And I'm just going to clean up up in here i think i'm done seeing the bondo today i did quite a bit the only thing i really have left is this guy pretty much here a couple here finish right there figure out what i'm going to do about this don't really care too much about this spot because of the windshield washer motor will be there but over here i've been working on smoothing this out a little bit more trying to get that to look a little better slowly but surely it's tough do some up here while you're standing up and squat down and do some down there and then come up and but I got more to do, but it's getting done. Oh, I did take this off, so I have to grind this down a little bit. 
and um, may or may not I have this hole this hole and this one I may just use my little rubber plugs that I got like these guys to fill them in and see where that gets me but yeah almost ready to paint on this dude I did go through and cleaned out all the swag slag you can see I didn't weld it at all. Got a little bit there. Got a little bit there. Might as well give you the full tour here. I don't know if I can turn my flashlight on. Eh. Nope. I'll be able to use any ultra. Oh. Anyways. That's my awful welding job. All cleaned out. Of all of its slag. The one I was super proud of back here. Like, not even. <laughs> but at least uh, I didn't weld the whole thing on. I did get um, some big boy bolts for that as well. These guys. And you got these bitching copper. So that'll go on there like this. You wanna see what I'm doing? That'll go on. I don't wanna tighten it down anymore. I gotta get a. I'm gonna get a tap and do a thread chase through those, but that's kind of what that'll look like. That's the only one that has that color of washer. Um, with my Rivnet gun that I got, um, first of all, the one that I got, this one, came missing one of the little uh, silver pieces, one of the tips and one of the mandrels. And I even got metric and um, standard riv nuts for it. But then I don't have... I need to buy the mandrels individually for these. And they're like geez, outrageously expensive. So I kind of screwed myself in that little corner. But then these guys came with uh, metric. And this is a Mikuali or whatever. Um, came with metric, all the mandrels. I was preloaded with the 8, which scared me a little bit because I pulled out the thing and it was empty and I was like, what the? But, uh, yeah, the standards come with um, the uh, kind of brass brass fittings. And then this has more of the stainless steel um, for the metric, which is fine because I'd much rather have the stainless steel than that kind of oil slick brass look. Not the world's biggest fan of this. It's not ugly, it's just not, you know, not what I'm going for with the stainless steel pipes, you know, stainless steel pipe holders, etc. Um, so, yeah, clean this up a little bit and get towards working on the inside. Alright, so got it cleaned up a little bit here and uh, um, did a little bit more. Use uh, this guy a little bit more. Did a quick zap of the Bondo sticking up that I had redone, so I didn't spend like three hours uh, Bondoing, sanding those mountains down. Also got some of the, uh, um, uh, that feels weird. Maybe I'll hit that up with the thing, it feels really, a little too bumpy. Also hit up uh, here, knocked down a couple nubs that were over here. Um, nothing major, just did a couple of quick things. Um, but now I'm gonna go hop inside. I'm done with this for the night. I'm gonna hop in there. Uh, I am gonna zap this top part real quick just because I got air in the tank, so I'm gonna do that.
So, got part one done. Got it nice and, uh, oh, trying to keep it on the stand here. Nice and flush, I reckon. Yeah, got those two back bolts off. Now it's got to beat down that front spot a little bit. Oh. That's what I say every time I go to the gym. All right. Just grab a hammer. That does not want to beat down. I just gave it a couple taps. Holy shit. I don't know. I don't know. I'll show you what I mean. like a steel plate under it or something. I wonder what the hell that's for. Some kind of... Yeah, I don't even know. I don't know. Well, let's see how this thing... Geez, I don't even have to take those off yet. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so it looks like those will fit there. I'm gonna re-drill some holes back there. Sir, um, I don't think I'm going to need to beat that thing down at all because it will sit pretty flush right there once I get it tender down. Uh, I'm wondering if I should add one here. Oh, that's a bummer. He's got one here too. So I can either do that or I can back it up. Here, 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 here. Add two there, and then the one here. I might do that. That might be the best, my best bet. Yeah, because I got, come on. That one hole there, you can see from above, of those two line up, you drill a bunch of holes, make a insert. Right the second, I'm gonna draw out that center piece right here and get that cut out uh, so I can be done with the that crazy noise, crazy neighbor noise. plan here I was watching how he did it on a separate version of his car on a different one uh, the guy who made that plate and um, he attaches the plate to that and cuts a big ass hole in there so I think that's what I'm gonna do utilize the two back ones he drilled another one here and then use that existing bolt hole so those two and the two in the back and then uh, basically I'm just gonna cut a hole big enough for this thing to kind of live in there it's got a little ways to go. I'm kind of going to have to go to pretty much the edge on both sides there. Um, pretty much the edge on both sides, but uh, yeah, I got some mark marking out to do here. All right, I just got this thing. Just cut out this. Just wasn't going in. Cut out just a little bit more. Look at thing dropped right in beautifully. So now I need to, since I don't want to use the put this on there so this all still works yes sir it does I got those two bolt holes now I just gotta get uh, 
plate lined up like that. All right, all the bolt holes are lining up. So that's where I get a drill on. Uh, once I get it on there and in there, I might, I'm might. i gonna think about the other one, which I'm probably gonna do, but at the second, I need to figure out where my bolt holes are gonna be and get those taken care of. Yep. All right, so I just got this guy uh, bolted up on here. Put that thing all cut out as much as I can. See if this fits together in my real time. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Right, I'm obviously hanging up somewhere in something right there. A little bit. So I got to trim that out a bit. And over here. Right there a bit. And that one's good, and that one needs a little off the corner too, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Alright, I finally got that thing to drop in there. Um, it's really, other than back and forth, it's very sturdy. It's rocking it left to right here, it's got nothing to it. Oh, that's cool. I got my shifter in, dog. So dog. So second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. So all right. So now my bolt holes line up. Shit fits in there good. So now I gotta drill a hole for that motherfucker, oh. and then uh, also drill a hole for that guy. So yeah. So we're gonna punch a hole there. All right, it's on there. <laughs> so. Uh, I mean, it's barely on there. I barely have it tightened, just hand tight, just to see how well it went on. Um, looks good. I'm definitely going to need to add another bolt, and I'll show you why. Because somehow, I was way, way off on my uh, guesstimation there. I don't know if I used a different, something other than the hole punch, that thing where I marked it with that, if I use a different one. But, man, I'm pretty sure that thing is, I was way off, <laughs> way off. And then in the process of re-drilling it, I was only able to get just a little bit of it on, see right there, and then that's where it ends, right there. That's all I got. This is tiny little bit about the size of my fingernail right there. So, even though technically that is kind of there, uh, I'm going to put a bunch of uh, some kind of JB Weld, Limafil, something right there. But then I'm going to also put another bolt here, and I might put another one behind it somewhere. I.e., I'm going to get these all bolted back up again, and then I'm going to, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to drill right through. somewhere around here don't want to go too far up I gotta watch that other guy's video again because I want to see where that clips in if I need to I feel like right there is fine um, one right there maybe another one right here I'll have the four good anchor points and then the one weird one so we get these bolted back up and start drilling all right I got stuck around there she is on there it's a little loose, but I haven't tightened these bolts down. I haven't decided whether or not I want to take them off yet or not. This one's a little off center, but it'll go down. Um, uh, these two didn't sink as well as I hoped they would, as far as setting in there. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this thing's done, you know. Hey, oh! So I figured I'd, while I was up there or in here, I would uh, rivet that up. Um, so I got rib nuts in there for the uh, pedal, hydro clutch pedal, yada, yada, yada. That guy's on there. I got <clears throat> just a ton of engine bay stuff done today. A lot of little things. I don't know what the hell that song is. Uh, but yeah, I got a bunch done today that I really wanted to get done. Uh, what I fucked up on was I need for my voltage over here. I got one, two, three, four. I screwed up and I was using these uh, 
the nice uh, these guys stainless steel ones that I wanted to use for the engine bay I was using them for the uh, the shifter plate so I got really close to using more than I especially with the two fuck ups I had um, I got really close to using more than I had so um, yeah gotta be more mindful luckily I remembered in time and I pulled out some of these uh, there's nothing wrong with these ones it's just I just want the stainless steel on the inside that's all there is to it so yep got those guys in there rather uh, nicely I reckon I don't reckon it's hard to see but they got a nice little mushroom on them so I'm happy with that um, so continuing on, I just got a little bit of Bondo work to do. Uh, I'll be done with the engine bay. I'll be able to start paint today. Um, I got caulking. I couldn't find any black stuff. I do have some black stuff, but I'm not sure how much or uh, how willing it'll be to come out. I reckon there ain't rather much in there. Got a little bit of clear stuff. I do have Honda Bound and whatnot, but I figured I'd just grab some brown um, whatever this is flexibility weatherproof joints blah blah, blah. for right around here getting up in here and whatnot uh, there's a couple other spots I needed to seal up for some reason or another um, and I also got uh, some just some primer some sandable primer to hit it up see if there's any glaring obvious business I was going to use up the rest of this stuff, but it's the expensive um, welding, weld for the primer. So as opposed to using the $18 can, I'm going to use the $5 can for visual aid. Then I'll be scuffing that up before I throw the uh, black primer and then the green paint and then the finishing paint and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did get more of the Rust-Oleum, my actual car color this color that color ish for down here and possibly some other stuff uh, I haven't decided on the radiator support yet the T bracket whether or not I'm gonna go green on that I think I'm gonna go truck bed liner from here down under there um, just wash it really good and then just hit it up truck bed liner and then everything else will be the green Yep, and this will be black, the color of Rust-Oleum, and a couple other things. But yeah, so I guess that's uh, probably it for this video. I'm trying to make them shorter, I guess, as opposed to making them longer. They're just way harder to upload, and I got way too fancy of uh, editing software. I don't know how to use it, basically. I am debating whether or not to redo this. This awful mess that goes up into the door here. It's all the stuff that goes into integrated controls <clears throat> and whatnot. Everything, all the power windows, all that shit. So I'm thinking about redoing that. It is kind of a pain in the butt. It is all right here. But I don't know. Kind of depends. Depends on a lot of things. So basically, for now, I did quite a bit today, and I think that's good enough for this video. And I'll close it up and start a fresh and new. I still have to put up the uh, the video, the actual video of me making this thing. A little trial and review. So, yeah. All right.